sure, thank you, Sean. That's a really, uh, perfect summation so far of, of what we've been trying to put forward. One of the worst ideas you've ever seen. That sounds pretty comprehensive to me. Um, I'm supposed to be a ten on the chair. Um, many thanks, everyone, for bearing with us so far and to this bits of information. I hope you've all got your questions still stored up. But first of all, we'd like to um, introduce Andrew Wood, from the um, coordinator of the Network for Clean Air. He's given our campaign valuable support and guidance, and um, we'd like him to also address. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, you've probably not heard of the Network for Clean Air. We network people and communities for better air quality and less air pollution. Last year we organised a conference immediately prior to the Olympics called Cities for Clean Air London 2012. And this year we've had a programme of citizen science, both in London and outside London. So the London programme we work with three groups. We work with Note Silver Town Tunnel, and you've already heard the presentation of their results. We worked with Stock City Airport in Newham, and we worked with Friends of the Earth around Gallions, Gallions Link, and they surveyed the air quality in that area. Uh, we provided over a £1,000 worth of equipment, support and advice, uh, whatever was necessary for these projects to complete successfully, and they've all completed very successfully. Uh, two weeks ago in City Hall, the new results were presented, and uh, you've heard the Greenwich results this evening. Uh, I just thought we'd put out this map because then you can see the extent of the survey which took place. So this survey took place all at the same time. So all these readings <coughs> were in June this year, over a four week period. So you get some idea of poor air quality. Uh, anything that's 40 above is really poor air quality. Um, but even less uh, than that is still a concern. So, and essentially the highway network is the main generator of nitrogen dioxide pollution. So that's what's shown on this map. I think the, the, the Greenwich uh, study was really particularly inspiring because it really did engage the local community. There were 13 volunteers, 10 from Greenwich, <coughs> 2 from Bexley and 1 from Lewisham. And I think it's a really good indicator of the active and vibrant civil society that you have in here in Greenwich. And I have no doubt that a campaign to stop the Silver Town Tunnel will be successful. I think we have to look at the scheme and be clear that it's much more than a local road scheme. It's already designated as a national infrastructure project and it will expand the <coughs> crossing from four carriageways to eight carriageways. Now, that's, that's a motorway. Uh, with that's a high capacity motorway road. So that's the nature of what's being proposed here. Essentially, a motorway uh, in Greenwich, and that's something quite different to what you have at the moment. We need a whole set of measures to tackle traffic levels, and we've heard some of those already. Um, those would be regional wide, they, they could be things like congestion charging, workplace parking, their base, all sorts of demand management measures as they've known. When you have a campaign, a, a local campaign that's really driven by local residents, then you get the opportunity to put forward alternatives that you want to see. And something that's really clear about the Blackpool Tunnel is there's no space for cycling. There's no provision of cycling there. So there's a clear deficit in what needs to be provided in terms of transport, in terms of, of here in Greenwich, for the benefit of people with Greenwich and in the neighbouring boroughs. <coughs> If we want to have a healthy city, we need to engineer the city so it makes it easier for people to have healthier lives. The recommendation for activity, for exercise, is two and a half hours a week. Now, if you cycle to work and it takes 15 minutes, five days a week, you're going to meet the levels of activity that you need to have a good quality of life and to, to be healthy. So we need to make it so that it's easy for people to have that level of active travel in their daily lives. And clearly, what's proposed in Silvertown Tunnel isn't going to do that. So we need to prioritise infrastructure for cycling and walking. And I'd like to see a uh, proposal for a crossing for cycling and walking dedicated just to those modes of transport on the Greenwich Peninsula before there's even any consideration of additional capacity for motor vehicles. Because motor vehicles bring blight. They bring traffic blight to your borough. And I think that's what you don't want. So I would urge you, if you live in Greenwich, Newham, Lewisham, Tower Hamlet, which will all be adversely affected by increased traffic levels, to join the No to Silver Town Tunnel campaign. 
because that way your voices will be articulated and together you will definitely stop this scheme. <coughs> it's already been done for Thames Gateway Bridge. Outside of London you can look at Salisbury Bypass and other places where roads have been stopped by active and cerebrous campaigning by local communities. So I would urge you to take the opportunity to do something now because you may not have the opportunity in the future. Thank you very much.